Hey guys, welcome to another Toon Talk Cassie reaction video. Today we're doing Dove Remarry Empress episode 174. So this episode starts off with the temple parental lineage test. They are really going through with this DNA test. It is a test that is administered by the temple to confirm an individual's parentage for class, such as finding lost family. The individuals being tested spill their blood into a chalice, and the resulting reaction confirms or denies their relation. Hmm. It's considered dishonorable for nobles to take the test, and they lost some credibility after the test shows that two twin brothers were both the father of a baby 35 years ago. Actually, the DNA test wasn't incorrect with that, because if the twin brothers were identical, then that means they technically have the same DNA. So yes, both the brothers would be the father and uncle to said baby. It, it's weird. Y'all look it up. I had twin brothers. They're identical twin. And this was a thing growing up. But in situations like this where the future of the Imperial family is at stake, aka Glorium, <laughs> it is the most effective method of diffusing controversy. And with that, Rosh just going back and forth in her room. She is pacing, wondering, what do I do? If it was only a matter of testing the baby and me, I'll say yes to put an end to the controversy. Good idea. We can also see who her real parents are while we're at it. Oh, that's what she means. And while Rosh just having a whole meltdown, she's crying over the situation. So she was like, although I wanted to know, I was held back by the possibility that it end up in humiliation for the Imperial family. So Sylvia, she was willing to just turn a blind eye and raise the baby and stuff like that. And the fear that Gloria isn't really mine. Alan Renwell, that fool of a noble. Yeah, Alan is a dummy. I'm starting to think that Alan set this up purposely to have that ego fly down and pull his son hat off of his head he is so concerned about his son receiving prince treatment that he didn't stop to think that the question is going to be like how you knew rashta huh how you knew rashta allen for her to be your baby mama sir you, you you dumb are you like just not clicking in the head because there was already a rumor going around at the beginning that rashta was a former slave from your house so now you want to expose the fact that she is your baby mama which is going to put two and two together your son isn't going to get no prince treatment he's not royalty he's actually going to get treated worse like you, you dumb so sylvia she was over here like just being with maybe possibly his baby talking about i don't know whether i should thank him for opening the floodgates or charge him with the crime of causing conflict. You should charge him. Thank him first and then charge him, okay? Because Alan needs to learn a lesson. At first, when he was quiet and then his daddy's shadows, I was like, okay, whatever. And then he want to get bold. Like, who put some hair on his chest? Like, Alan, go sit your behind in the corner of your daddy. Like, this kind of load of shoe. Ring, ring, ring. Pick up the phone. Do you know what your son is doing while your daughter's out there missing? Your son is over here causing a ruckus. That's what needs to happen. Somebody need to call this kind of little shoe. <laughs> it's not easy for Sylvia Shoe, y'all. He's going through a lot. And like I've always said, I still want that baby to be his. I genuinely want the baby to be his. He might be a horrible husband, okay, to Navier. A horrible husband to... Rasha. At this point, I think he has a pattern of just not being a husband. Um, but he was showing signs of actually being a good father to Gloria. Teardrop, teardrop. Well, while all of that is going on with Sylvia Shu, he's having, you know, his internal dilemma. Rasha received a letter. It is a letter from none other than her dearly beloved biological father. Mm. And while reading the letter, she is crying. Y'all yeah, can see her tears just falling on this letter. She's like, it's not like he's completely ignorant of my situation. He didn't even ask how I'm faring or give me an apology. He didn't even include any pleasantry. 
just a demand for more money. In other words, you guys, this is how I'm imagining the letter went. He was like, dear Rashta, I need more money. Send more money now before I go and I expose you even more. Send money. Actually send double what I'm asking for. I'm pretty sure. He didn't even say, hi, how you doing? How's my grandchild? None of that. Just like straight up, send money now. And Rashta is so over it. She's over here like, I'm the fool for expecting anything different. Like, it's all coming at her. Like, I'm surprised she didn't have a whole breakdown. I would have been had a breakdown. I would have been like, that's it. I'm done with all of this. My baby daddy's trying to expose me. My husband don't like me. I can't hold my baby. I still got PTSD from my first child. And my real biological daddy's coming at me left. Like, let me just go ahead and check out the game. I'm so real sure. I'm just going to go ahead and leave all of this to you. And I'm going on vacation forever. That's what I wouldn't did if I was rushed to life. <laughs> I'm like, girl, are you? What is she about to do now? Sniff the sniff snob. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, Rasta, that vacay, girl. Take that vacay just disappear from all of this, girl. Just charge it to the game, okay? Charge it to the game. Go heal in the countryside. That's what you need. Or not, or not, because I see you still living in the Lulu world, okay? Talking about I shouldn't be treated like this. It's not fair. No, I mean, you created a lot of your own stuff. Oh, there you go. Once again, you back to blaming Navier. Now you see, you, you're going to stay in your mess. I was willing to give you a chance until you want to bring Navier. Girl, Navier lives in your head rent-free. Talking about that woman is living a happy life because she was born to caring, noble parents. Not her fault. I was a slave after being born to scum. And now I had to suffer this identity. Yeah, the fact that you were born, well, you wasn't born a slave. Um, You were sold into slavery. That right there isn't your fault either. Okay, look at the root of the problem, Rashta. Okay, look at it. Navier had what? Loving, caring parents who happened to be nobles. If your father was a loving, caring parent, whether he was a noble or a commoner, you would not have had the hardship you were dealt with. Think. Use your brain. Ooh, ooh, look at this, y'all. She's admitting. <clears throat> I stole her position as empress and stole her husband. Yes, I stole them. Is that why I'm being punished? That can't be. Girl, you crazy. You can't steal happiness. You can't steal confidence. You can't steal love. You can't steal peace. You can't. You just got a whole bunch of like outwardly material things from Navier. But who she is as an empress, as a woman, that right there, baby, you can't steal. That's a level that you could never obtain. <laughs> Silly Rashta. The trash can is to the left. To the left, to the left. She's going to continue with her victim mentality. I just wanted to be happy. Even if it was just a tiny bit of happiness. Look, true happiness doesn't come at the cost of others. You don't get happiness by thieving. Okay? So I could live a decent life. Girl, if you wanted a decent life, you would have never become the emperor's mistress. That is not the way for you to live a decent life. And if you wanted to be the emperor's mistress to live a good life, then baby, you would not have been sabotaging and being manipulative and evil to Navia who wasn't paying you no mind. Girl, your mouth saying one thing, but your action is telling us a whole different story. Now, Rasta, girl, you created this mess, okay? You built yourself a nice big old pile of trash, all right? And that trash is not suffocating you with the stink of your dumb decisions. Mm -mm -mm. Now, look at her having flashbacks of Navy and talking about, I'm not desperate enough to steal from others. That's right, Navy. I just wanted to be loved and to be loved wholly. It's my painting. Don't look at it. It irritates me when you do. To not be held in contempt just because I happen to be born into a circumstance that made me a slave. That right there is why I pitied her, okay? 
because she did deserve to be treated right. But if Rasha would have chose herself, all right, then she could have had that love. Am I suffering from misfortune because I didn't know my place? Should I have bowed and scraped along as a slave in the vain hope that my father would come rescue me when I didn't even know where he was? No, girl. No, that's not what you should have did at all. I'm not faulting you whatsoever for taking the opportunity to get out of slavery, baby. Now, come on. Not Cassie. What I'm trying to tell you, Rashta, is that you should have took better care of the opportunity. Being Sylvia shoe mistress would have been a good life. You could have just sat there in the corner, ate your food, lived yourself a good life. But you just had to... So you created this. Should I have just died after living such a musical life? <laughs> ooh. Ooh, 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 look at that. Mm. Her blood is seeping into that rain. All these thoughts pouring into her head about how she don't belong. The rain, now she's hearing voices from the rain talking about, I don't belong on your finger. Wow. I don't know what's going through her head. She's like, but not anymore. I need to do away with them completely. And she's talking about murdering her father again. Like, really? Oh my, I think Rasha is really trying to murder her father, y'all. Talking about he looks like he's three sheets to the wind. And this is her behind the tree waiting for him. And he's she's going to do it herself? Wow, she went from hiring assassins to now doing the job herself. She's talking about, I pretend to offer him a jewelry and kill him in one strike. Girl, you think you that tough? Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, somebody came and got him. It's the Imperial Guard. Why? Could his majesty have ordered it? I see. Oh... She thinks Sylvia, she was helping her. Tell about this time he's helping me because I'm his empress now. He has to. Girl, you really think that man is helping you murder your father? Rosh just completely gone, you guys. Like, look at her face. She looks so much like if the Joker had an evil daughter. Like, if Joker and Harley Quinn had a baby, they would be this. It would be making that face right there. That face right there. I'm, I'm telling you guys, like, somebody should, like, draw Rashta as the Joker and Harley Quinn's daughter with this face. Because it's giving. <laughs> it is giving. Yeah, I gave this episode my everything, okay? That is it for today's episode. So, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Let me know where you guys are at with this series, okay? There is more episodes available on the Webtoon app. You can read, as you guys can see, there's some over here. But on the app, you can fast pass some additional episodes. So definitely check that out. Leave your thoughts down below. I'm going to be checking out for your comments. And with that being said, until next time, peace.